All right, well, all this week we are celebrating a legend. Yeah, Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr calling it a career after 45 great years here at WDSU. And all week we are bringing in special guests to reminisce on their time with Margaret. And today we not only have Jefferson Parish Councilman at Large Scott Walker, but also WDSU former anchor alum with us. You oh, actually started the four o'clock newscast with on Margaret. This newscast. Yeah, I told Margaret. And you, and you. Yes. <laughs> right, don't right. leave yourself out. I told Margaret. I said, we, when you asked me which one I wanted to come back for, which newscast, I said the four, obviously, because we started this in 09, the three of us, and, mm -hmm. and here we are again. It, yeah, it's, full it circle. Was, yeah, what a tremendous honor it's been to, to oh. work with you for the years that I did. Only nine years, but... Um, was it that long? <laughs> <laughs> it just seemed like it was It only forever. seemed longer. Right? <laughs> I loved working so happy, with you, So Scott. happy for you, though, and so happy for um, you. whatever you're going to do in the future. And I brought grandchildren. A, I know. And your Running dog. Running in the sprinkle. Oh, and your blue. dog, Blue. Yeah. I brought a Jefferson Parish Council oh. proclamation for Margaret today, which says a lot of words on it. <laughs> but it basically says, I won't read the whole thing, but it basically says how great Margaret is and how great she's been over the years. Oh. I'll read the first couple of lines. Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr has guided Southeast Louisiana through the impacts of 31 hurricanes, mm. including Katrina and Ida, and recently announced her plans to retire after 45 years at WDSU. And whereas Margaret was always fascinated by weather after standing in the eye of Hurricane Betsy as a child and blah, 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 blah. Oh, <laughs> that was significant. But, and there's more and there's okay. awards and there's the uh, Children's Miracle Network oh, telethon. And then we get to the end and it says, whereas this council wishes to recognize and commend Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr for 45 years of outstanding contributions to the community upon the occasion of her retirement from WDSU TV. Now, therefore, the Jefferson Parish Council of Jefferson Parish, Louisiana, hereby honors, recognizes, and congratulates Margaret Orr, WDSU Chief Meteorologist. Oh, that's Fantastic. So nice. That Thank is you, awesome. And there are a lot more words. That you can reflect oh, but on she later. Did well, you know, this guy could always talk fast. I mean, one thing people tell me is I could talk. Script. I mean, he <laughs> could just talk. Well, it's look, great to see. when I got here in 2009, I obviously grew up here and saw you over the years. I won't say I grew up with you because that can sound insulting sometimes. But oh, no, go ahead. I, I, know. I watched you over the years, just like Norman Robinson. And for me to be able to sit on the same set with you and work with you for the years that I did was, was a tremendous honor for me. It was surreal for a, a time to because looked up to you all and, and admired and the work you that you did. And then you got to know me. And then I wanted to leave. No. <laughs> but it, it's been wonderful, and I thank you for all, that, all the help you gave me when I got here and, um, you know, social media that we went back and forth on. We had some great times. The we Ice did. Bucket Challenge, I remember we did back in the day, and your hair got all wet, which oh, was a was highlight a of Norman's, <laughs> Norman's evening. And that suit has never been the same, <laughs> I'm just saying. But, look, you've made it to where this place will never be the same, oh, and you've made oh. it to where meteorology in this market it will never be the same. Um, what you've done will never be forgotten, and I will certainly never forget it. So I want to, again, wish you the very best Thank as you go you. forward. And it was an honor for me to work with you. And, and the same. I'll miss you on TV. Well, hugs on the same. couch. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming yeah. in. It doesn't take away from you all, because I love no. working with no. you. No. 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 She's been here a little longer. We yeah. second no, everything no. you just yeah. said. But look, the, the Travers Mackle 45-year anniversary <laughs> isn't that far off. I remember when you had your anniversaries coming up. Right. Well, well, I'm happy for you, Margaret. That's funny to have a long time. Well, speaking of blasts from the past, each night this week at 6 o'clock, we are honoring Margaret with stories on her trailblazing career. Here's a sneak peek of what's coming up tonight at 6. She was on the street showing up at news conferences as a, as a young reporter, you know, and then she made the transition to weather, and, uh, and that was her forte, you know. That was what she was meant to do. I haven't seen anyone that impresses me as much with their, uh, their emotion and enthusiasm, as Margaret does. She's probably one of the most versatile people I've ever known in broadcasting. Tonight at 6, we focus on how Margaret spent four decades keeping you safe. Hundreds of storms and weather events. We recap how she was always at her best when people needed her the most. So help us celebrate Margaret all this week at 6 p.m. And then join us again Thursday at 6.30 for a special show dedicated to Margaret's career and her impact on this community. I cannot wait for that. And again, thank you, Scott, oh, wow. so much for being here.